First, we're gonna pour this pizza crust mix into this bowl right here. Now, we're gonna pour one half cup of water into this bowl right here. Destiny, shut up. Now, we're gonna mix it. And we stir. Now we're going to knead it and cover for five minutes. First, I'm going to apply the pizza sauce. Like more sauce, you guys? No, no. thanks. You put too much already. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the cheese. How cheesy do you want it? Cheesy. Cheesy. Thank you, Victoria. You don't need to cycle. You just did on the line. Just You're an expert cheeser. There's no need, Lacey. I'm not done. You suck at applying cheese. You suck at applying cheese. Who? Who pizza? You need to put cheese. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to put on. Am I doing this right? Did I show now? Halfway. Oh god, that's gonna be super pepperoni. Fine, sorry. But if you're gonna be the only one eating it, you can pepperoni. No, I will eat a piece. Oh, I wanna be included. <laughs> Is that good? Yes. Now we have pepperoni, cheese, and sauce on our lovely pizza. I'm gonna go put it in the oven. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> our oven is heated to 450 degrees. That is our temperature. Temperature is amount of heat in an object. There's convection going on because of all the air molecules heating up the pizza. Thermal conductivity is from the rack to the pizza stone to the pizza. That's also conduction because the pizza is touching the pizza pan. This is also known as conductivity. That's why I have to wear oven mitts or else I would get burned. <laughs> really the endothermic process, the heat went from the oven into the cheese, changing it from a solid to a liquid. But now that it's out of the oven, the pizza is now cooling, which is making the cheese turn back into a solid, which is an exothermic change. Man, it's hot out here. It's a good thing the sun produces radiation to keep our pizza warm. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs>